Hi guys, my name is Zanmay and welcome to my life page. And today we are going to talk about travel photography. But but first, let me introduce you about myself. I done my schooling from Kremlin Hall, Dehradun. After that, I went for my graduation to DAV PG College. And after my graduation, I did my MBA from INS Innocent University, which is in HR and marketing. But my passion from photography started from uh, school, or you can say from my high school. You can say that it was in my genes because my father also a passionate photographer. His hobby was photography. So when I was growing up, I used to see his I used to see his pictures and the way he clicked. And I used to be very much interested in framing the pictures, right? Like to see things with a very different vision. So with time, I also developed interest in photography and I got into it. <clears throat> so after my schooling and after my graduation, after my studies. I started freelancing in photography. I did a lot of project for a lot of companies like Oyo Rooms, uh, local newspaper Dira Dehradun Street. Uh, along with this, uh, last year in January, I did a photo walk on behalf of Oyo Rooms in collaboration with Doon Photo Walk, in which more than forty participants participated. Not only this, uh, my pictures are published in uh, Dehradun Times, Doon Times, and Times of India as well. During a competition which was held by Times of India by the cultural club which they have. My photograph was uh, selected by Manish Pal, who is a very ace photojournalist of India, and it was among top three photographs in that competition, which was published the next day. Taking my passion further, I have started a startup by the name High Grapher, which gives you a complete media and travel solution. Now I'll tell you what is travel photography. There are different genres in photography, but particularly, I am interested in traveling photography, and I'm going to discuss about that only. I've been doing this since last seven years, and. This has helped me in looking the world with a very different perspective or with a different vision. So there are a lot of things which are involved in travel photography. You need to have the vision to show the world what you what you are seeing, like a creative perspective as well. So travel photography is basically traveling to different places, taking the pictures, and showing the world about the places. Uh, not on not only about the particular place, like food, culture, and the actual uh, offbeat places with which are at that tourist place or surroundings now we are going to talk about the education which is required for photography first part is camera equipments 